and a trio in trouble for helping people cheat on tests, urine tests. Good evening. They were supposed to be helping to keep convicted criminals clean. But three people who work at an Albuquerque company that collects urine samples for the federal probation and parole office are behind bars tonight, accused of helping those criminals to cheat on their drug tests. News 13's Alex Tomlin is live outside federal court. Dick, the three co-workers will be arraigned here tomorrow morning. The FBI says the trio was doing favors for friends and taking bribes for the past year and a half. It causes us to lose confidence in the system. The feds use an Albuquerque company called Relevancy to collect urine samples. The company then sends the samples to the U.S. Probation and Parole Office for testing. The probation Department found out that they were billed for drug tests that they'd never seen. The FBI says it didn't take long to pinpoint three employees behind a major tampering case. Mr. Ortiz is alleged to have discarded 12 samples. Agents say Brandon Ortiz not only threw out dirty urine samples, he allowed convicts and suspected criminals to bring in from someone who uh, was presumably going to test clean. So having a friend or relative provide a urine sample that was provided instead of their own. So did Ronald Lopez. Ronald Lopez substituted samples on two occasions. On three different occasions, investigators say Amber Sanchez warned people well ahead of time that they had a random test coming up. If it was a drug with a fairly short lifespan within the, uh, the urine sample, then a week's notice could make all the difference in the world. All three relevancy workers have had run-ins with the law, all for DWI. No one from relevancy would call me back to comment on the case. In this situation, if either you had friends or you could buy friends that would help you avoid the repercussions of your criminal behavior, and that can't be tolerated. According to the U.S. Attorney's Office, the three no longer work for relevancy. They could face 20 years each in prison if they're convicted. Back to you. Okay, Alex. Investigators are still trying to figure out the names of the urine test cheaters. They will likely have their probation or their parole revoked.